Phil. Who do you think would win? Slime or humanity? Or rats? Or dragons? That's a good question. Wanna find out? Let's go. <laughs> Today Seth and I build a bunch of decks around the various cards that circumvent the roots restriction of playing only 4 copies per deck. In fact, all of these decks are 50% the same card. To make it more interesting, we are also playing commanders to push the decks as much as possible. And if you want, I don't know, 50 copies of Slime Against Humanity, get them at cardkingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related. Link is in the description. Also check out mtggoldfishmerch.com to get your hands on these beautiful shirts. And with that being said, all right. Do you play Kermonix? Kermonix is so much better than my commander. It Yo. just draws more rats. Oh no. I actually got a pretty good feeling about not being on the slime side for this. Well, all right. I, I think I high rolled. I actually have a shot this game. I took my free mall and I mulliganed into, well, you'll see. All right. <laughs> snow covered swamp. I don't even know why I play snow, but we'll find out, I guess. I find, oh, these are beautiful forests. Ooh. Oh yeah, they're, they are nice for us. So there's one big problem with the slimes. Uh, they're all three mana, but I have a single one mana ramp spell in my deck and it's Utopia Sprawl. And I happen to have that in my uh, <laughs> opening hand. So I'm gonna put that on a forest so I can start slime in a turn early. That is probably key, yeah. I got another snow covered swamp. And here's my namesake card, Red Colony. Two mana, two one, plus one, plus O oh for each other rep you control. And obviously I can have any number in my deck. Hmm. So it is tempting to play a slime against humanity here, which I have many of, but I drew another card, which I think is, I got the all ramp hand here. I'm gonna play a cloud key. Cloud key, when it enters a battlefield, I get to choose a card type and uh, it makes the card type cost one less. So I'm gonna play cloud key and name sorcery, which happens to be what slime against humanity is. Well, well, well. I drew a relic ray tower, which kind of changes my plan here. Because I think I play my commander, which, which is just perfect for this. Caramonix, 3 mana, 3, 3, Toxic 1. Reds you control have Toxic 1, and when it enters the battlefield, I look at the top 5 cool. cards of your library, you may reveal cool. any number of red cards among them and put them into my hands. 50% of this deck are reds. Good thing I got a reliquary tower. Four Ooh, more reds. Four. Swing oh, in man. for 3 oh. with Toxic 1. That's not good. Ooh, the heat is on. Okay, how how greedy are we? I think I gotta go max greed mode. I know I'm a slime against humanity deck, but I have one more support <laughs> card I gotta play. The uh, setup. Parallel lives. Oh. So if I make a slime, I get two slimes instead, basically. It doubles my tokens. The slimes will come. Well, I'm just going all rats now. Here's a Nykthos. Ooh, one shot really of good. tapping for positive mana, but well, let's see if your rampant pays off because I got a lot of rats and they hit hard. Swing for oh. eight. Too toxic. And too toxic. Well, the time has come. I'm going to cast Slime Against Humanity. So, uh, Slime, it's a cool card. When uh, when it resolves, I get to make a zero, zero ooze, and then I put X counters on it, where X is two plus the number of cards I own in exile or in the graveyard that are oozes or Slime Against Humanity. I also have Parallel Lives, so I get two of them, but we're not done yet. We're gonna cast another Slime Against Humanity, make two three threes, because I got a Slime in the graveyard. Yeah. We're catching back up, we're catching hmm. up. But we, do we just trade down now forever? We're gonna find out. Let's play a rat, and oh. <laughs> What will I play next? Let's find out. Wow, we make six mana <laughs> with Nick Thos here. Ah, uh, three more rats. <laughs> oh my god. That is kind of legit good. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, I gotta block the rats, right? There's no there's no choice but blocking the rats. You can take one. I don't think I block Kermonix because I don't really want that to die because then you just recast it and draw more rats. So I'm gonna not block your commander, but I'm gonna block the other three. Yeah. Oh, thankfully rats don't have trample. That would be an issue. Well, uh, slime against humanity, make two four fours. Slime against humanity, make two five fives. Yep. And I, I think we go aggro now. Let's get in with our three three. I think we can take that. You gotta be running out of rats, right, Phil? You only got four cards in hand. Oh. You gotta be running out. You gotta. Here's more rats. And bad news, Piper of the Swarm, rats you control have manners, <gasps> the rest is pretty much okay. irrelevant because I think. Oh, that's that's probably going to be the death of me. Uh, that's literally the death of me. Yeah, mm. that is certainly the death of you. Piper of the Swarm, that rat tech. Hey, did you tap that like button already? Oh, oh you did? Thank you. All right, next matchup, and I'm gonna play Shadowborn Apostle. Looking at my hands, I really do play Shadowborn Apostles, so I keep 
Uh, I think I'm gonna, I don't, I think I'm gonna mulligan. So I'm playing a, a teamer slime build this time and it has some really cool cards in it that I would like to draw. Uh, we're gonna mulligan one more time. All right, we'll keep this. Well, I mean, Shadow Bone Apostle is a known card. We need six of them to do anything, but here's one of them and there's gonna be more. I imagine so. I'm just gonna play me a little fetch land and I'm gonna crack it right now. Did I remember to put a triome in this deck is the question. Go ahead. All right, uh, first of all, we get in there for one. Yep. <laughs> I need six of them, but here are two more. Cool. So the thing is, my deck's not especially good at killing things. Uh, so I don't know if I can stop you from just getting up to six and tutoring up a demon, which is probably bad. Wow, I got, I got the nuts. Do you have just all six already? Let's first oh, God. swing in oh. for three. Oh, you're gonna do the thing. Oh, here oh. is one, two, that's the sixth one. <laughs> wow. I'm so jealous. <laughs> well, all right. I'll play a fast land and I'll play my first slime against humanity. Mm -hmm. I'll make a 2-2 and then probably die to a demon. Yeah, I assume that's very likely. <laughs> Me as well. Let's <laughs> activate Shadowborn Apostle. Sacrifice six creatures named Shadowborn Apostle. Search your library for a demon card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And, I mean... Oh. We all know what this is gonna be. What it's gonna be the brand. Grizzle Daddy. There it is. 7-7 seven, seven Flying oh. Lifelink. Pay 7 life, no. draw 7 cards. I'm gonna <laughs> do that. I mean, <laughs> why not? There it is. That's what I'm looking for. Blood Stained Maya. Crack it. For a Blood Crypt. Wait, and now your commander costs 2 mana? Oh no, this is so bad. Yep. Um, here's my commander, the Balrog. <laughs> Costs one less to cast for every permanent sacrifice, so it only costs two mana. Can't be blocked except by legendary creatures, and when it dies, destroy target artifacts or creature an opponent controls. Oh boy. And actually, here's another boss. <laughs> yeah, 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 might as well. Swing in, and good luck. Well, my ooze is not legendary, so uh, yeah, we're taking lethal, I think. You know what, though? <clears throat> <laughs> Slime against humanity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a 3-3 now. Can you beat it? Can you beat it? I think I'm actually just dead on board. But Pretty sure, yeah. That's just kill you. Here's a removal spell. Yeah. Swing in with the demons. And oh, I thought I might at least get to block the Shadowborn no, Apostle, no, no, but no. no, no, no wouldn't no, no, even no. give me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a massive. Oh my god. Is it, it's just going to be a video of, of Uzzas getting, getting just, slaughtered. Yeah. All right. Next matchup. Ooh, a Zika. A mm -hmm. Zika. <laughs> Not playing fair. Yeah. yeah, I keep this. Well, I think I also keep this. Lead on a Hive of the Eye Tyrant. All right, I'm going to play a Command Tower and pass. Uh, How about a Nurturing Peatland and pass? Uh, so here's the thing about my deck. The card I'm playing around is called Dragon's Approach, and it's very, very bad if you mm -hmm. just cast it. So instead, mm -hmm. my game plan is to just discard them and cast only one of them when it's necessary. Cathayic Reunion has additional uh, cost. Cast this, discard two yeah. Dragon's Approaches, and draw three cards. Hopefully Ramp or something. It's three Approaches. Okay. Oh. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to play a land in. Uh, even though I'm a slime deck, I think I'm going to play my commander first. Chatterfang, Squirrel, yeah. General. So Chatterfang... Uh, it has Forest Walk, blah, 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 and Sack Squirrel's not really relevant. The big ability is if I would create one or more tokens, I get to make those tokens plus that many 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature tokens. All right, that seems good. I could cast the Dragon's Approach to deal three damage to you and nothing else. Do it. So I think I just play this word tree and mm -hmm. pass. Well, I'm gonna play a Surveil land here. Surveil that to the top. So, okay, first we're gonna attack with our Chatterfang real quick. And then I know I, I'm a news deck, I promise, but <laughs> I, first I think technically I need to play Black Market Connections here. Oh. You probably know this one, but it makes treasures and draws cards and makes changelings, but I gotta pay a bunch of light for it on my upkeep. So I'm going to <laughs> discard more Dragon's Approaches, Pirate's Pillage, discard a Dragon's Approach <laughs> and draw two cards and create two treasures. Ooh. All right. You're getting a little close. Yoga. So we're going to 
boy. And I'm glad you're not casting your dragon's approaches. That would probably kill me super quick here. So uh, we get a treasure, which also gives us a squirrel. We get a shapeshifter, which also gives oh. us a squirrel. We play a forest, and now we classed our first slam against humanity. Uh, that's going mm -hmm. to not only give us a squirrel, and I honestly don't know why this works under the rules, but I also get plus one, plus one counters on the squirrel for Yo, some reason. Just like gosh. it's the same amount of counters as the ooze. I still don't really understand this interaction, but I'm gonna cast another ooze and it's gonna get even more counters oh on my, my squirrel. God. And then I hit you with the chatter fang and I kind of got a big scary Ooh. board now all of a sudden. Boy, is there a dragon that drops the board? I don't think oh, so. I hope not. I think I might be dead. Wow, I'm going to play a Dragon's Approach to yeah. do three damage Ooh, to, down to every 13. opponent. And now if I cast another Dragon's Approach, if I have four of them in my graveyard, I can exile this. And if I do, search your library for a Dragon card and put it onto the battlefield. Do I have four of them in my graveyard now? So let's see if I draw the dragon that deals with an army of scrolls and slime. <laughs> uh, we could take down an Emrakul, but can we take down a dragon? I got one in my hand, and I got three dragons in here. It's Nifmizit and Velomachus Lawhold. Ooh, wait, Velomachus, can you just win? You might Maybe be able to win with Velomachus if you high roll. Maybe I can kill you, yeah, because... If I swing with this, oh. and I probably get a dragon's approach. Yep, that's a wow. lot of dragon's approaches. That puts me to two, but not, not dead. Enough. It's not enough, man. One but more, I... the black market connections would kill you. But you have to kill me this time. Uh. Or gain life. Oh, do I actually have to do math? I didn't think I'd have to do math this video. Okay, three, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, wait, I think, okay. So I think if I just play this swamp, and remember back on turn one, I played a I played a land called Hive of the Eye Tyrant. It can become a three, three menacing creature. Uh, I think if I fire that up, then attack with everything, I think you die. And also Hive of the Eye Tyrant can exile a dragon's approach from yep. the graveyard. There's my the graveyard tech. attack. Um, wow. I mean, I was playing the prismatic bridge so i'm not gonna complain about getting beaten up by scrolls instead of slime <laughs> so i'm gonna block the 4-4 four four. i'm pretty sure that's still gg oh did, did i count it right oh exactsies exactsies wow. all right i'm playing the big baddies persistent petitioners mill oh boy scary Humanity seems like it might be okay. I am feeling good, yeah. Five petitioners, two lands. Yeah, with Burvac as your commander. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough. <laughs> I don't have enough lands to even cast a slime against humanity, so I'm gonna mulligan. Ooh, okay, I wanted to see this card. That's actually sweet. I'm gonna keep this one. All right. I have a new card that I'm excited to test out. Uh, I'm gonna play a Temple of Mystery, basically the original surveil lands. <laughs> I'm going to play an island and go. Uh, and now I will play one of the new surveil lands. Uh, I'm gonna put it to the graveyard, hopefully. You know how many artifacts or enchantments I need to besiege you. Here is a persistent petitioners. I'm gonna read it when I have four of them. I bet. Uh, so I'm gonna play a copper line, George. Uh, so I could play a slime against humanity here. Instead, I'm gonna play the case a of case. the ransack lab. It's a three-man enchantment that makes my instants and sorceries cost one less. And then if I cast four in a turn somehow, uh, I solve it. And then whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, I draw a card. But basically, it's it's ramp for my slimes. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna play my commander. Whenever I mill, I mill twice as much. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be scary, but first, maybe I get there with combat damage. One to the face. Uh, so this is also a little counterintuitive, but I think I'm actually gonna run out my commander next. Uh, so I have Aragorn the Uniter. Uh, it does something whenever you cast a spell of a specific color. For me, the big one is uh, whenever I cast a green spell, it pumps a creature plus four plus four. Also got a little bit of red spell, so it might deal three damage when I cast one of those. But uh, but yeah, mostly pumping my creatures when I cast slimes. Well, this is gonna get very boring real quick, but persist petitioner and another one. And I'm just gonna pass. Mm -hmm. Yep, just gonna pass here. Yeah. And Burvac is an advisor. I'm gonna play a slime against humanity. Make a two-two. I'm gonna put my Argorn plus four plus four. And then I'm gonna play a slime against humanity. Oh, no. It's gonna put my Argorn plus four plus four. No trample and though, right? No, tr no trample at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a fetch land and. Just swing in for 13 with my commander, no big deal. I also get a 2-2 two, two and a 3-3 three, three use. I'm just gonna throw one of these petitioners in front of it and hold on. In response, Ooh. tap four untapped advisors uh -oh. you control. Target uh -oh. player mills 12 cards, 24 cards with Burvac. The problem is, if I mill you, pretty sure your slime will get <laughs> very big, very quick. So I gotta- It grows my oozes. Yeah, fast, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 
I might have underestimated this. <laughs> Let's see how many I mill. Mill 24 right. cards. Yeah, that's... Of 100 cards. Oh, maybe I'm... Oh, my God. Oh, there's 16. That's, there's 16 slime. So my next ooze will be at least a 16. 16. <laughs> Ow. Bro. I'm not sure if I can handle this. Um, I'm going to play an island. And a persistent petitioner. You need like two more turns? Yeah. Maybe I win this race actually. It might actually be possible. He's more petitioners. And right. well, yeah. pass the turn. Now that Aragon can pump a trampling creature. Yeah, that makes it a little scarier. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, Although I was so sure about this. I'm gonna this. crack my fetch land here. Yeah. And uh, see if I have lands left in my deck to fetch. I do. Would you like to mill away what I put on top of my deck, Phil? Yeah, I'm a minute away yourself. Maybe it's another oops. Yeah, it's a, it's a, that's a brush land. I'm going to mill it away. Well, uh, okay. I mean, I guess we just do what we do. Slime against humanity. Make a 16-16. Pump the 3-3. Three, three. I have one turn. I Slime, 17-17. Pump the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, no. <laughs> And then one more oh, card no. in hand, uh, slime, make a 18, 18, pump the 11, 11. I deserve this. <laughs> we'll just do a little, we'll do a little attack. Yeah, actually, I was thinking this might be the horrible matchup for me, but I kind of didn't think through how your milling would grow my oozes. So maybe it's not as bad as I thought, because those are some big oozes. Those are some big oozes, yeah. I'm going to block Aragorn, pay one, and mill a player for one or two cards in this case. And then I can have four. Four. A million for 24. Can you mill me all the way out though? This, like, is I, there... Yeah, it's close, but I need to mill 10 more cards and I just drew another land. I think you got this one. I can't Ooh. believe it. Ooh. Wow. The oozes. Yeah, the pumping from Aragorn is actually kind of impressive on a, on a ooze since they have trample. Yeah, I'm just doing everything here and then just die. I kind of want to draw one more <laughs> ooze just to see how big it would be, but... Instead, it's a forest. Well, we'll just attack with a few things. Yeah, I think the oozes are doing all right. I think you'll find. <laughs> well, hmm, apparently the oozes wow. like being milled. <laughs> well, this backfire has a very uh, hard this game. Guess I gotta keep six. Uh, all right, well, we'll keep this, I guess. I'm gonna start with a beautiful surveil land here. And I'm actually, one of the things about the surveil lands that make them really, they're good in general, but they let me put my slimes in the graveyard. So and I kind of want slimes in the graveyard because it grows my slime. Yeah, I'm going to play an island and pass. And I'm gonna play another surveil land. I'm going to keep this one on top because I kind of need a land. All right, I'm going to play an island and no petitioners in this hand. Huh, I guess I just passed the turn. Mm -hmm. What is going on? All right, well, I, I came here to cast Slime Against Humanity. I'm gonna cast a Slime Against Humanity. Well, 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 well. How about Wait. Test of Talents? <laughs> Counter target instance or sorcery spell. Search its controller's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that spell. And exile them. <laughs> That's my dad. I'm gonna take some from your hand That's and some. That's, it's a mill oh spell. God. It mills 50 cards oh. for two mana. That's so brutal. Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh. Pretty sure that's... How do I win now? I guess that's the bonus I don't game. know how I can win from here. I don't think I can. <laughs> if I miss one of these slimes, the one slime you can cast is going to be... It's going to be like a 50-50, yeah. yeah. But I'm, I'm going to make sure to click them all. Oh. oh, my God. What about just leaving the ones in my hand, Phil? You can take the ones from the, the library. How about that? Let's make a deal here. <laughs> Let's do some well, politicking. That is a mill spell right there. Wow. Yeah, mill, mill 50. Down to 52 cards in my deck. Wow, even they're still going. Oh my god. Look at this anime. Yeah. It's like mocking me with this animation. Wait. It's still going. It's doing them one oh, at yeah. a time. <laughs> well, okay. Go, go, Aragorn, I guess. I'm going to play an island my and a brewback. <laughs> I'm gonna play things that don't really make sense without having a bunch of slimes in my deck. Like I'm gonna play a Castle Ambrith and a and a Storm Kiln Artist, which triggers whenever I cast an instant or sorcery, but they are huh. kind of all exiled. All right, persistent petitioners, and go. 
Very mm-hmm. slow start now, but I think I got all the time in the world. If I lose against Aragorn, I deserve this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, just, I can't even cast oh, Aragorn you can't even yet. Cast it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, instead, I will cast a Primal Amulet, which also would like me to have a bunch of oozes in my deck. And uh, we'll pass the turn. Assistant Petitioners. And I'm missing land drops, but I got some time. Pass. <laughs> all right, we're going to we're gonna finally get down this Aragorn, which is our one chance to maybe right. sort of do something. And then we're going to play a root bound. Craig, and then check this out. I'm going to play Goblin and Archomancer, which happens to be a red spell and a green spell, so it's going to trigger Argon to pump something plus four, plus four, and it's going to burn you. So I'm going to pump Storm Kiln, burn you down to 22, and then uh, I guess we get frisky with the Storm Kiln Artist, which is currently a 7-6 somehow. Get in there. I mean, I'm going to take it if I lose this game. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, mill you for two? I don't think it's possible. We'll see. I'm, my deck is like all lands. At least now I mill 24, and now I can block the big thing. And I only have 43 cards, so you only two. need two uh, activation. That's two di- Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I should be fine. I'm gonna help you a little bit, I think. We're gonna tap two lands, and we're gonna cycle a scattered grove? My deck is like 85% lands now. Uh, Well, we're going to go to combat. We're going to do a little Mm -hmm. attacking. Would you like to block, Mm -hmm. Phil? What do you think about blocking? Hmm. Eh? What Eh? do I think about Castle Anbreath activation? (laughs) So it would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't think it kills you. Mm, I mean, I'm going to block. That makes sense. Yeah, I wish I had... A slime the against Aragorn. humanity. If I could be pumping here and casting slimes, oh, I'd be so good. Well, I'm going to activate Castle on Breath because I don't really have any other options. I'm going to activate Persistent oh. Petitioners because that is... Yeah, I mean, that's GG. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh yeah, that, that test of talents <laughs> was so brutal. <laughs> There's my lands. And that would be... GG. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sorry.